Hey guys, Blake Check 101 here to talk to you about the Black Swift Stick from BlackSwiftSticks.com. Uh, Jim at Black Swift Sticks has asked me to um, evaluate these sticks for the past several months now, and I have been doing that just about every day uh, in, uh, in my free time, and I have been incredibly impressed with this product. Uh, we have just, uh, it's, a, it's a revolutionary product in its line. Um, a stick that can be used as a self-defense tool as well as a walking aid um, is something that we're seeing a lot of now in, in the uh, self-defense market. A lot of companies are coming out with sticks and canes for self-defense, um, but what we're seeing a lot of uh, is very, very large, very, very heavy sticks that um, really need to be wielded by someone who's very physically fit, who's very able to, to use a, um, a club more than anything else. You know, a lot of these sticks that we're seeing are, are very, very heavy, they're very, very big, um, getting close to two pounds. Uh, whereas the Black Swift is, weighs less than a typical cell phone, which is just, a, you know, a remarkable, um, a remarkable achievement in this lineup. The, uh, the whole thing is made of synthetic materials. We have a polymer uh, head here, which is a, a Lever Max head. And the reason it's called that is because you can see this flat cross section right here. So we have the comfort of a round head with a, a flat cross section here for when you're walking. It allows you to very easily maneuver the stick, um, you know, and you can get a really sure grip on the stick just with that. The other, you know, huge advantage of it is when you are, if you ever, God forbid, have to use it in self-defense, you have a very large section here for your pinky to rest on, giving you all kinds of leverage uh, when you swing the stick. And again, it's so lightweight, anyone could, uh, could use this properly and, eff and effectively, um, whether you're a world-class athlete or, you know, a, um, a, maybe an elderly person or, or someone who's not so physically fit, you could, you know, use this very, very effectively and, uh, and be very secure feeling with it. Um, the shaft of this stick is a polymer, or excuse me, it's not a polymer, it's a, um, it's a carbon fiber, fiberglass composite material, and uh, basically pound for pound the stuff is stronger than steel. It's an, a, a, a remarkable product with just the right amount of flexibility to keep it from breaking, but with just the right amount of rigidity so that when we're using it to kind of support a little bit of our weight, um, you know, it remains very, very rigid. We're not, you know, seeing it bend and coming back or anything like that. We're just seeing it, you know, pretty much stay there. Um, I've only ever had it bend on me a few times when I'm really bearing down on it, and then it just brings me right back to true. It, you know, it comes back to perfect, perfect true, um, like an arrow, really. And the, uh, the tip here, as you can see, is wider than the stick itself. And basically, th and this is a, a polymer resin tip, as well. Uh, it adds a little bit of extra weight for extra hitting potential. Also, when you're walking, if you're on less than stable surfaces, um, it allows for excellent grip and it also doesn't just fall through, um, you know, maybe dirt or sand or anything like that. It stays nice and firm and doesn't just give or go into the ground rather and get stuck. Um, the Black Swift comes with a lanyard. I've chosen to take mine off, but you can obviously keep yours on. Uh, and how that work works is you have an O-ring right here, a red O-ring, that you have the, um, the lanyard wrapped around, and you just bring this up, and that puts it nice and tight onto the, uh, onto the stick, uh, so it won't be coming off anytime soon. And what that allows you to do is you can just put your hand through there and hold it uh, if you need to use both hands. Uh, if you don't want to do that, if there's a table nearby or anything like that, the Lever Max handle also acts as a wonderful um, place to, you know, rest the, rest the cane because it actually won't roll from side to side. It actually stays right there because of that flat cross section on the bottom of the knob. Um, as I said, there's two really, you know, applications for this stick. One is as a walking aid and the other, of course, is as a self-defense tool. Um, of course, anytime you ever, you know, want to learn any type of self-defense, uh, or you know, you want to practice any type of self-defense, seek a professional's uh, advice first before doing so. Um, but without further ado, like I said, I've been uh, I've been evaluating these sticks now for for Jim at Blacksmith Sticks now for 
uh, several months, and I've been very, very impressed. I'm just going to give you a quick little demonstration, first with some very light hits, then with some harder hits, and then with some thrusts, and uh, maybe some two-handed strikes, and uh, with the ball end as well, um, and just show you how, how tough this stick really is. Now this, this bag here, by the way, is, is fully loaded with sand, so we're talking about a very, very heavy bag here, and you can see, I'll show you how much the, uh, the bag actually is allowed to move with just the force of this, uh, of this very tiny stick. No scuffing or anything like that. Of course, I do have the, uh, I have a jacket on here, really to help me uh, observe what, uh, what, the, what the stick really does to clothing. In this regard, is it going to tear it or anything like that? Um, and how will how will my reactions react to maybe a piece of cloth being wrapped around the stick? Uh, will it catch it or anything like that? But other than that, you know, the um, there's no abrasion on the stick at all. There's no breakage. It's still very, very solid. The, um, you know, again, this thing is filled with, uh, I think, actually, I think it's water that I put in there, but still, it's a very, very heavy, heavy bag. Um, in fact, getting it over here was quite a bit of work. Um, but the, the, you know, obviously, you could see that the bag moved around quite a bit, especially for a stick of this size. Um, and with a good two-handed grip, you're really able to get a nice swing. Now, the stick is so light and fast, um, that even against a, a bigger, heavier weapon, the, the primary method for self-defense in this type of, with this type of weapon would be a quick uh, stop hit, really. Um, and you're going to get a lot of force. Again, with that lever max handle, you're going to get a lot of uh, stopping force with that. Um, now, the benefit, huge benefit of this stick is that while it is a self-defense tool, it's not necessarily going to deliver lethal force. Um, you may get some lethal force, obviously, with a, uh, with a good hard swing to the head with the ball end. Uh, that, that might deliver, you know, some really dangerous uh, force, you know, really dangerous force there. But other than that, what you're going to mainly get is extreme deterrence. Uh, and what I mean by that is there's going to be very, very large welts. If you get that on a large muscle group, that'll leave a very, very sizable welt or contusion um, on the area you know of, of contact as well as if you hit smaller bones like the collarbone or like the or like the fingers um, that will break those bones basically making them uh, useless uh, also anywhere on the neck is going to be pretty dangerous as well um, you know anywhere on the leg you're going to really start hitting nerves and muscle groups that are going to make you know it very difficult for that person to continue Hence the extreme deterrence. You're actually more, kind of uh, debilitating, as opposed to just outright, you know, killing or really, you know, not doing much. It's got that really nice place where civilians, um, you know, where you don't want to necessarily kill, you know, kill the bad guy, but you do want the chance to get away. In which case, this is really the, you know, an, an optimal tool for that. Like I said, with some of the bigger sticks. Um, you know, you couldn't help, if you do a good hard swing with one of those, anything that would even be useful, uh, you're talking about breaking really large bones, you're talking about even possibly killing the person, um, you know, with, with a simple swing, and uh, at least for a good responsible civilian's use, that's just not really, you know, the way to go, I think. Um, but, and again, a re another really wonderful part of this, of this cane is that someone like me can carry it on a walk. I can use it, uh, you know, as I, as I walk and not get a second look. Um, other than maybe someone my age carrying a stick like this, um, you know, the, there's no thoughts of this being a weapon. You know, I've, had, I've been walking with it and cops drive by and everything, they look and they, and they look away. There's no, you know, there's no fear that this is something that I'm going to go and like club someone over the head with. It's a simple stick.
plain and simple. It's not. It doesn't look like a like a weapon, um, which is different than than a lot of what you see on the market today. That being said, this fits in just about everywhere. You can bring it on a walk in the woods and go to a black tie event that evening, um, and it, you could carry the same cane and it fits in in both places. It doesn't, you know, uh, scream, you know, for attention or anything like that. There's no fancy sparkly, you know, um, you know, look on this at all. It's very simple. It's flat black. It's just it go. It it stays with you, um, and doesn't, you know call any attention to itself whatsoever but the you know it's just it's a very very impressive stick and you can see about the rigidity when I thrust with it um, even with one hand you know I can really get some good power in there and while it does cause the stick to flex slightly what it doesn't do is just bend it all together um, I mean it brings it right back so a good thrust with this really you know, is uh, is quite effective, especially with, with such a small tip like this. You put a good, strong hit like that, and you're talking, you know, in the sternum area or even in the stomach, and you're talking about a very, very uh, uh, deterring uh, blow there. But again, it's a fantastic product. I'd highly recommend it to anyone, who, whether you do martial arts, like Partitsu or Eskrima, or uh, even Chinese martial arts, you know, you can use this as, as a practice uh, gin or anything like that. It's very, very useful for that, as well as something that you can just easily carry. Um, but then what you also have here is a very, very effective self-defense tool. Um, or, you know, if you're into that, or if you just want to use it as a walking stick, or the best of both worlds, do it for both. You know, um, where, around where I live, there's a, you know, a couple people who have very unruly dogs, and nothing has happened so far, thank goodness, but I would feel very comfortable, um, you know, being able to deter a dog, keep a dog at bay um, with, you know, the tip of the stick. And God forbid, if you ever had to strike an, you know, a feral dog or anything like that with this, it wouldn't kill the dog, it, but it would send a, a strong message to the dog to back away, um, which is, I think, that the main goal. We're looking for stopping power, not killing power, um, at least as a civilian. But the, you know, it's a fantastic uh, product. Jim, thank you so much for supplying these to me and making them, you know, readily available for my, for my training as well as for my testing of these wonderful products. Um, if you guys have any questions, contact uh, Jim. There's a contact page on his website. It's blackswiftsticks.com, all one word, very simple. Um, or you can always contact me and I'll ask Jim or whatever the situation is. Um, but it's a, you know, he's a very, very nice guy. He puts out a fantastic product, um, and you know I highly, highly recommend it at a very reasonable price. Also, you know this is just—it's a win-win for everyone in this in this case. Um, so if you guys have any questions, again, ask. And uh, thank you so much for for watching, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.